Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, slowly changing dimension. So when I say slowly changing dimension, basically the data we receive from the source is volatile. That is the nature of the uh, data is uh, change, means like uh, it will change its behavior during the course of its life cycle but it's not very frequently it's less frequent that is why it is termed as slowly changing dimension so to give us a, uh, give some good uh, and reasonable example for, uh, we can consider customer or employee product branch or region from any 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 customer business uh, it, it can change like for an example employee is joining today but uh, he may work and he may uh, be out of the company so the record is captured or is changing his location or his job title is changing those is uh, those all are the good exam uh, good example the behavior how uh, the pattern is changing so with this subject oriented data might change its behavior that's corresponding properties and attributes will reflected capture accordingly for data warehouse purpose because so when we have the accurate data uh, in dimension we, we capture accordingly the business intelligent report it reflect its output accurate to the customers uh, so that is the big uh, good idea so now coming back to uh, uh, the topic again the slowly changing dimension can be captured in uh, various types but here uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the most uh, commonly used uh, practice of slowly changing dimension one two and three so when i say one two and three so either the history totally not maintained or fully it is maintained the history or partial history so again if you see the third point what i mentioned so uh, so that's what i have described here so it no history maintained or fully history maintained role level and current active record and but today a uh, uh, part of our discussion and agenda so we are going to cover slowly changing dimension one so that the transformation uh, means like the mapping it's look like this like source the employee table i'm going to take it and look up from the target dimension table and the expression uh, to create an output port uh, to find out whether it's insert or update record so basic uh, based on that outcome we are going to pass uh, in the router for insertion direct insertion or update it will uh, uh, pass it through the uh, update strategy using data driven dd update okay let's go back uh, to the sql developer now see i have created already uh, the table called uh, dim underscore emp underscore sct table So if you see here that employee number key is the optional field uh, in this slowly changing dimension one uh, like a surrogate key but rest all uh, the attributes are uh, same like in the source what we see that is from employee table emp number so if there is any new record comes in it will go as insert record if there is any old record comes in uh, for any changes it will go as update record that is the simplest understanding in this that is no history maintain in slowly changing dimension on so for this reason i create additional object like a sequence and uh, see for example i've created one sequence uh, for employee number key uh, field to capture okay so now i wrote one uh, so correspondingly uh, i've created one trigger as well uh, to uh, 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 the before level trigger to uh, generate the number okay so this is what it's going to be taken care because uh, it will uh, okay so then uh, i wrote a package to uh, uh, give you a quick walkthrough uh, means this basically this package what i've defined i've created one static cursor here see uh, so uh, uh, differentiate uh, the new uh, new insert record and update record okay so so basically i'm just uh, putting a left outer join to find out insert and update record in first go and second go in the with class uh, update query i'm doing the, um, finding out based on the changes like this the var condition see here so uh, then uh, union union all uh, both insert and update record so based on this one uh, uh, 
if you see further uh, the procedure what I have defined for SCD1 so <clears throat> I am opening up the cursor and I am just checking the operation if it is insert it will go uh, insert record here and update it will go update record and committing this is a simple procedure I wrote let us try to run this procedure to understand bit easier okay so I'm going to run this procedure see uh, as we run the first time it will be uh, it will be all 14 records will be new record see all 14 records will be new record in case uh, so we can check the same output from here dim underscore emp underscore is cd1 okay so now all 14 records have been changed now for example in this case any any records going for a, a, a update or new records is coming we'll take on good examples here okay uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to in introduce one new record here in the source introducing a record in a source okay and similarly i'm going to update a i'm going to update a uh, commission for example i'm going to update a commission okay uh, so from for this particular employee number 7499 300 is the commission so now i am changing the commission to 400 okay so he is the employee 7499 okay so first i am doing this one and second i am updating the existing record so one new record and old record now as we discussed initially that uh, the the dimension table do, uh, does not have any record in initial go so that is the reason all uh, have been captured as insert record but after the first load now we are introducing a new record coming in and the already processed record uh, earlier 14 records out of which one record is coming as a change with the commission value has been changed now let us see we should see two records as the output when we rerun this process okay let us try to do that now okay so i'm going to run it uh, before to that i will let me commit this information okay let's see see now you can see as we uh, as i introduce in source this uh, this record become a new record and this record become a update record okay that's it so this is the uh, good quick example how the behavior uh, will be uh, 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 in a slowly changing dimension through the uh, backend uh, I've written this store proc. Okay, the similar behavior we are going to achieve it in the Informatica. Okay, um, okay, let us go back. <clears throat> I'm going to roll back these changes. before we start with informatica we'll, what we'll do here we'll do that uh, it's a slowly changing dimension table i will truncate it and i will drop and recreate the sequence again okay so and i will compile this object again okay so now let's go back and create a mapping same as what we had done okay so let's try to create a mapping okay source so source will be emp okay 